What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a very highly anticipated tweak called Spring Tomize 3. Now if you've never heard of Spring Tomize or you've never downloaded the previous versions of Spring Tomize then this is probably going to be a treat for you. What Spring Tomize 3 allows you to do is change a ton of different things on your iDevice and essentially it brings together a ton of different tweaks as well as additional features into one main tweak and one settings panel. So there's two ways that you can actually access Spring Tomize. One is obviously through your settings. You can go down here and tap on Spring Tomize 3 and it's going to bring you to your settings panel. Also you can jump into the Spring Tomize icon right here and you're also going to be able to change all your settings right through there. So there's a ton of different things that I want to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing right up here is your enable or disable switch. So if we disable that, all your settings panels are going to go away, and you obviously have your credits right here. This was created by Filippo Bigarella, and the graphics were done by Shernix, as well as here your beta testers, and here are your translators. So this is actually uh, available in different languages. So we're going to enable this, and we're going to jump into animations to start this off. So here you can customize your speed by sliding this after you've toggled that on and the higher this is all the way up to here is going to make your animation slower and the lower it is the quicker the animations are going to be. You also notice right up here that you get a little banner notification that says settings have changed tap to apply. So since we changed this and we want to make this the fastest animation as possible we're going to slide all the way to the left. We're going to tap this and you're going to get a pop-up right here and it says would you like to respring now so you can either dismiss or respring your device. You also notice when I hit the respring button it does a little animation closes the app and then fades out so that looks really nice. Alright so let's unlock our device and you can see right off the bat that all those icons landed on the springboard very quickly and if we open up an app you can see that all the animations are extremely quick due to changing that up in spring tomize. All right, so let's go in here. We're going to turn this off and we're going to go to the next settings panel, which is the app slider. And this is basically just the app switcher and it's called the app slider in Spring Tomize. So here we can hide the icons. This is going to hide all the icons at the bottom of your app switcher. So all these right down here and right here we have resize the pages so you can change the pages percentage all the way down to 20% and up to 200%. So let's go ahead and change this up to 150%. Uh, let's go back accidentally tap 90 and we want to also hide the icons and here is the home action so basically what this is if, if you swipe up on your springboard while you're in the app switcher do you want it to do nothing or do you want it to respring now we're just gonna leave it as nothing but you can activate that if you want to so let's go ahead and respring our device alright and we're back so let's go ahead and go into the app switcher here and you can see that the app cards are much larger 50% larger to be exact you don't have any type of icons down here as we're scrolling through and I mean this really doesn't look that bad I actually like the bigger cards as well you are only going to be able to really have one card per page as you can see right there rather than having the three that you usually have but still at the same time you can change this up to basically whatever percentage you want you can make it a whole lot smaller if you want to do that as well so let's go ahead and toggle that off and we're going to go back here and go into the control center. So if we swipe up on the control center, first of all, you're going to see these separators. So this is going to allow you to hide those separators. So we'll just toggle that on. Also, you're able to hide sections. You can hide your quick launch, brightness, media controls, airdrop, and your settings. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm not a big fan of the media controls. So we're going to hide that and everything else I pretty much use. So we're going to leave that on. So let's go ahead and respring once again. And now that we're resprung, we'll go ahead and unlock, slide this up, and you're going to see no separators and no media controls. So I think this type of control center looks a whole lot better, but that's just my opinion. So let's go back into Spring Tomize. We're going to toggle that back off and go into the dock. So here you can hide the dock completely. So it's going to get rid of the dock 100%. You're not going to have icons down there. You're not going to have uh, your dock background or anything like that. You will actually have icons down there. They just won't be stationary. So they'll change every time you swipe the page. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to hide the background. We're also able to resize the icons. So if we want to do that, 
we'll go ahead and toggle that on and change this to 75% so we'll make it a little bit smaller you can also hide the label so this is basically just the name of the icon right below the icon and here are the number of icons in your dock so you can change that up as well we'll change it to five down here we have the cover flow effect so you can enable that and this basically gives you a concave look if you do the reverse then it's going to give you more of a convex or rounded look so we're going to start with we'll start with the reverse and down here you can actually change the factor and perspective right down here if you want to mess with that so that's going to mess with the uh, cover flow effect so let's go ahead and respring again okay so we're resprung and now we're going to check out our dock here you can see the icons are much smaller and we're now actually able to put another icon right in the middle there so you can see that cover flow effect how these icons are pointing outward you'll also notice that we don't have any type of uh, icon labels under the dock right here so we'll go ahead and take this out before we switch it back up and we'll jump back into the settings and go to dock we'll toggle this off oh you also notice that we don't have a background I'll show you that in just a second you probably noticed it so it's completely transparent we don't have any type of border or background for the dock right there all right so going into the next section here we're going to go into folders so right here we have nested folders which is going to allow you to create folders inside of folders also right below that you have pinch to close which is basically going to allow you to pinch the folder to close it you have your transparent background so it's going to get rid of that frosted glass look when you open up a folder you can just toggle that on it's just going to be the wallpaper back there you have unblurred icon which is going to not blur the background of the icon and you also have your fast open and close so this is basically just going to speed up the animation so we'll toggle that on as well down here you can change up the sizes of your icon so if we wanted to resize these we'll make these a little bit smaller we'll go to 90 percent and you can hide the icon labels as well so if you want to do that and you can change up the numbers of rows and columns so we're going to change this up to let's do four by two and we'll see how that looks also you have your cover flow effect again since we did reverse last time we'll leave it as the original cover flow and we'll tap to respring so now let's get into a folder here and i'll show you the changes I can swipe over so if we open that up first thing you're gonna notice is there's no animation so it automatically just opens right up also the next thing you're gonna notice is there's no background back there this is just the wallpaper no frosted glass so this is a transparent background for your folder now you can see that we have a 4x2 set up right now and you will also notice the cover flow effect that we have going on there's no icon labels right here and you can make your own folders just by dragging and dropping just like that so if we want to jump out of it you can see well let's make another folder actually down here let's try that again doesn't seem to be working on that one let's try over here okay it works right well there we go and then we can drop it in right there so I mean you can make nested folders and it works pretty good like that now one thing to mention if you try to set up like five rows or anything like that something crazy going on in your folders then you can run into some bugs I had an issue where I couldn't get five columns I could only get three the max and then I wasn't able to actually create the nested folders so hopefully this kind of stuff is going to be fixed in a future update but just to let you guys know there is some bugs right there so let's toggle off all the changes that we did for the folders and we'll jump into the next settings panel right here which is icons so these are going to mess with your icons you can hide your updated or recently updated badge which is just that blue badge which I don't even have any so I don't even worry about that also you have lock layout so this is basically going to prevent the icons from being moved even when you're in wiggle mode right here you can disable the wiggling so when you actually try to put it in wiggle mode they're not going to wiggle but you still will be able to use them or move them if you don't have lock layout selected now right here we have disable uninstall which is obviously not going to let you uninstall apps and you also have hide badges so we're not going to toggle that on but it just hides your badges because down here we're going to change up the background colors here we have icon image effects so you can change the way that your icons look kind of puts a mask on it and I mean they don't look too bad they're actually better than most preset icon uh, masks that come from tweaks these actually don't look too bad they're not something that I would probably use on a regular basis but at the same time 
not terrible. So down here we have badge color. So we can change the background of the badge color. Uh, and you can see as we slide, it's going to change the color right up here, the little toggle. So that's going to give you the color that the icons are going to be. So we'll change it to this purple fuchsia color right here. And we'll change the text of the bubble to that. Now this isn't going to look very good, but I'm just showing you guys that that does work. Also down here, you can hide specific icons. You have two toggles for newsstand as well as spring to mize. If you want to hide anything else, you can just go into here and then toggle whatever uh, application that you want to hide. Something that's on my uh, first page, let's go down here. I think the clock is, so let's double check real quick. Okay, the clock's right there, so it should be hidden once I respring the device. And let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now let's check out what we've changed here. So the first thing you're gonna notice is the complete different look of the icons. It has more of a orange tint than I would say a red tint, but I think that kind of depends on what color your uh, application was to begin with. You'll also notice the badge icons have completely different colors. It's pink on purple, which doesn't look that great for me, but I mean, I guess that could be cool for some of you guys. Also, if we go into wiggle mode, you can see they're obviously not wiggling and we're not going to be able to move anything because we have lock layout selected. There's also no X's, so we're not able to uninstall anything because we toggled that on in Spring Tomize as well. And the last thing that we changed was the clock being gone, so we don't have the clock right there anymore. So let's go back into Spring Tomize and we will toggle this stuff back off. And the reason I'm doing this is just so you guys can get an idea of what exactly is changing because if we cumulatively uh, go through this and change everything and it's still changed while I'm going through, it's kind of hard to decipher exactly what has changed. So this is making it easier for me to explain as well as for you guys to view. Also, we have down here our lock screen. So this is going to be able to change up all of your lock screen stuff. And here we have hide camera. Now, this is basically not only going to hide the camera, but it's going to disable it altogether. So if we toggle that on, you're not going to be able to launch your camera from the lock screen. Now, right down here, you have a slider style, which we have the original, which is just the slide to unlock. You have hidden, you have custom text and current time. So if we want to change that up, we'll just hide it for uh, this purpose. And down here we have time, which is time font size. So you can change that if you want to. We'll change it to, let's go with uh, 30. I'm not sure of the original uh, default font size. So I think this is actually going to make it a little bit smaller. If I were to guess, it's probably around 45 or so for the uh, original. And time style, you can display the seconds or you can change it to a custom text. We'll change it to custom text just to show you. And you can see I changed it to Gangsta earlier, so just to see what it looked like. We'll leave that for this time. And here we have date, so date font size. You can change this up as well. We're going to change this to, let's make it big. We'll go to 90. Now, since this is really large and this is pretty small or smaller, they might actually overlap. We'll see how it works out when we uh, change this up. You also have date style, so you can change this to custom text or the original date style. So let's go ahead and respring. All right, so now you can see on my lock screen, that does not look that great. You can see that the text is way too large. Uh, kind of went a little too crazy with that. You can see Gangsta right there, and the, uh, the date right there is just way too big. But you'll also notice that the camera grabber is gone. If you try to pull that up, you're just gonna get the uh, notification, or the control center right there. And also the slide to unlock is gone. So those are the only changes that we've made. This doesn't look good, so it's something you're gonna have to mess with a little bit before you can get the exact right sizes. And it looks like I didn't change up my uh, icons here. Let's go ahead and disable the red ascendant. And jump back here to the lock screen. We'll toggle all this stuff off. And let's go back to pages. So here we can hide the page dots, which is just the page dots at the bottom of the springboard right here for you guys that, oops right here if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and hide that. You can also disable the spotlight if you wanna do so. So we'll do that as well. You can resize all your icons. We'll change this to, let's go with 75%. So this is gonna change all of them on your springboard. You can also hide the icon labels. And right here we have columns and rows. So if we wanna change that up, let's change the columns to five. 
and we'll change the rows to let's go to six and here's your cover flow effect if you want to do that we'll enable that just for show and down here you have your factor in perspective so let's go ahead and respring all right so we're resprung looks like I forgot to change the date size but you can see this actually worked pretty good it looked like it lagged a little bit as I as the icons landed on the springboard let's watch that again yeah it does seem to lag just a little bit and we had this set up for uh, six different rows so let's see how well this actually does it looks a little too scrunched up to have six rows so let's try to make a few more rows here all right so you can see we have six rows enabled right now so that's what we set it to but there's a ton of space down here and it doesn't look that great so if I try to put another icon let me grab Tweetbot right here and we'll try to put it over on the front page and you can see that it's moving that last icon over so we can't add anymore so the scaling is a little wrong for this if you have smaller icons you also notice that there are no icon labels you have your cover flow effect as well uh, what else did we change the spotlight should not be accessible so we don't have that set up let's jump into spring to and make sure that we've covered everything we have hide the page dots so we'll double check that so let's go down here that's the only thing we didn't cover and you can see that we don't have any page dots right down there so that's going to completely disable those so let's toggle this all back off and we'll go to the last portion which is the status bar so here you can actually set your custom carrier if you want to do that and I have it set to Cody right now and you can set your custom time as well if you want to do that and I have it as was here so you just type in something that you want and down here you can hide all of the different uh, indicators in your status bar so if you don't want any of this stuff showing then you can just tap on this so you're not gonna see the signal strength rotation lock uh, let's see what else we actually have up here do not disturb I believe that's on right now call forwarding black square battery percentage that'll be gone battery image will be gone your alarm all that good stuff so it should just say Cody was here right up here at the top once we respring our device and everything else should be completely gone alright so let's unlock and you can see our status bar actually didn't work and that's because I uh, got rid of the carrier name as well as the time so we'll change that up real quick but you can see right up here at the top that we don't have uh, any type of status bar but let's jump back into spring to mize and we'll go to here we're gonna turn on the carrier right there and turn the time back on now let's try this again alright so we have our little indicator right there and that's from Zeppelin so you can see that the carrier name is enabled but Zeppelin is actually over uh, is covering it up so let's go ahead and turn that off and then you'll see that it says Cody was here so the status bar is completely customizable as well now one thing to mention about this tweak is that it is not compatible right now with Bigify Plus or gridlock 2.0 I was having a ton of difficulty messing with that and going into safe mode and it was a real hassle also if you have any tweaks that do some of the same things that spring to does then you probably want to uninstall those if you are going to get spring to because there can be some incompatibility there as well and it could knock you into safe mode but overall spring to 3 is a very convenient tweak uh, putting everything together into one big settings panel to allow you to change everything without having to go through multiple tweaks to do it. So let me know what you guys think about Spring to Mize 3 in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.